What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another episode of TMG Kitchen Takeovers. If you've never seen one of these before, we have several other episodes out already and it's where we bring in someone who's like a YouTuber or a food blogger or a chef or just like a food enthusiast and they come into the kitchen and they have to make a recipe out of whatever they find. So we're going to introduce today's guest. Hey, my name's Fraser. Uh, I'm a vegan chef in Toronto, Hamilton area. Um, I teach cooking classes and uh, yeah, vegan cooking classes all throughout the GTA, Hamilton, Niagara, Waterloo. Um, yeah, I'm here to kind of like whip up something and see how it goes. Okay, here we go. We got a chef, a real chef. <laughs> Catherine's a chef too. I'm not a chef. <laughs> no, I'm a cook. A formally trained chef in the kitchen today, so this should be interesting. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Sweet. What would you do? What would I do? Yeah. Uh, just go on to ubereats.com. <laughs> promo code TMG. <TV>. No. <laughs> 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 I got kale and arugula. Yeah. That's the I don't really have lettuce right now. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> Something like our flavor profile. It's looking pretty tasty. Pretty tasty. Can't go wrong with some tofu. I know. Am I right? So I decide how I'm gonna make. Okay. This is cool. it? So, okay, no spoilers. how you can tell there's a professional in the kitchen. <laughs> Cleaned up beforehand, keeping it clean throughout. <laughs> Are you taking notes? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know all these things, but I still don't do them. <laughs> uh, do you have like a mandolin? Uh, I do. Let me grab that for you. It's over here. In my really crowded space here. Someone moved it. Well, that someone would be you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um, we can get by. I think that counts for points against the kitchen. Yeah. He requested a mandolin and Catherine couldn't <laughs> deliver. Not organized. Where did that thing go? So Catherine's left the episode now. She'll return <laughs> someday. I'm so excited. Like, I really don't know what he's making. I mean, but I, I like everything that's going on. I'm pretty confident it's a taco. <laughs> but I just don't know <laughs> the style of the taco. And how are you finding the process so far? It's great. It's seamless. Really? Yeah. Wow, so confident. Other than not We got through a curveball. He's yeah. like, oh, it's so easy. But it's also, not that like, easy. He's I'm like pretty a professional. Out. <laughs> Yeah, this is so different from Anne-Marie. <laughs> it was like ready to kill us at the end of it. Other than finding the mandolin, how was uh, how was my kitchen holding up for you? Great. Everything's so organized. Is it? Yeah. yeah that's that's nice. And you have so much of everything. Like I don't have any yeah. of that. My props. The props. The yeah. props. I probably have five cookbooks. <laughs>
Not that Catherine isn't. She's no, I'm not professional at all. <laughs> So yeah, today I whipped up uh, these like, I guess, hoisin taco, hoisin tofu tacos um, with some pickled veg. I got some pickled red onion, pickled carrot uh, in like a hoisin sauce, um, just topped with some cilantro and green onions. And I kind of made my own uh, taco shells just by like cutting a large tortilla with a ring mold. And um, yeah, I just went with this because Mexican food is like pretty familiar to me, so I was comfortable with it. And uh, just like what they had in the fridge, I was like, oh wow, like tofu is really good. And I'm like a big fan of soy. A lot of people aren't, but if you do your own research, you can kind of find out that soy is totally fine to eat. Um, so yeah, like full of protein, just some nice fresh veg on top, nice and refreshing, and a little bit different. Um, with the pickled veg, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. Okay, moment of truth. Do you want to share a taco? They're almost. <laughs> I love. <sh> yes. <laughs> I love sharing with you. <laughs> It's so pretty, like, I don't want to destroy it, destroy it, but I really want to eat it. And then, of course, you can eat your own creation, too. Look at that! Okay. Eat over this so you don't spill it. <laughs> Why? You're going to make more of a mess than he did all cooking. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Why did you make that look so good. easy? <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's so good. That's really good. It's insane, like, how balanced it is with, like, no ingredients. Yeah. That's insane. Oh, I didn't even ask if you guys like cilantro or not. I love cilantro. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. That's so good. The veg on top, like, it's the perfect balance between... Yeah. Oh, so good. And I gotta say, when you weren't pulling out that many ingredients, <laughs> I was like, okay, where's this going? <laughs> and then you pulled out the tofu, I was like, okay, is there we doing, like, a... Frying up the tofu, and then when you started crumbling it, I got confused. Yeah, I yeah. was like, "Oh, plot twist." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's all so simple, and it's so good. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of all about. It's like showing people how simple mm -hmm. eating vegan or plant-based can be. It's like it doesn't have to be overly complicated. Yeah. You don't have to buy the craziest flowers and mm -hmm. the craziest stuff. It's just like it is what it is. Yeah, just like this tofu, was you know? made with store-bought poison sauce and like regular flour tortillas and like yeah. and it tastes so amazing is this kind of what you thought you'd look for were you looking to see if no. you could make something you had no idea coming I had no into idea. this yeah yeah i was kind of stressed out <laughs> you also didn't I'm glad look I worked up, out. you didn't look up the fact that we love tacos and no i didn't <laughs> love tacos and asian food <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's so, literally us in a place that's sweet <laughs> i don't want to like discourage the next person who comes on this series but uh you Good, good luck! <laughs> <laughs> we'll try and keep a stocked fridge for the next one. I'm so sorry, Anne Marie. Yes. <laughs> uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Kitchen Takeovers. Thank you for being our guest. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, where can people find you on social, your handles and things? Uh, my Instagram is at thatplantedfork. My website is thatplantedfork.com. And all my cooking classes are on there under the, like, the events page. And um, yeah, just shoot me an email and we can get connected and plan something. Yeah, we'll have all his links in the description, so go check them out. Give him a follow. If you're in the Toronto or GTA area, look up his classes. I think I might go to one, because yeah. apparently he teaches about kombucha, yeah. and I'm supposed to be learning that. Yes. So. <laughs> That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future recipes. In the description box below is a link to our podcast and our merch. Check that out. And comment below. Let's talk about how good tacos are. Yes. Not regular tacos. Like, this was an Asian themed taco, right? Yeah. So let's talk about non traditional flavors in tacos. Mm hmm. Because I like taco talk. 
And then don't forget, also, let us know who our next guest should be down below oh, as well. yeah. Who do you think can handle following all of this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Devin, it should be you, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Don't comment that. Please. <laughs> okay, we're going to stop now. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh. Devin, totally... how mad would you be if I made you 